So the violence that happened actually at two different riots yesterday occurred um, pretty much within hours after officials began to remove the protective barrier fence that had been up around the federal courthouse for more than eight months. Um, you and your viewers may recall the months and months of nightly violence that happened out last year. A lot of that was targeted against the federal courthouse in downtown Portland. Mm -hmm. Well, the rioters saw that as soon as there was an opportunity to attack the building again, they did. First in the afternoon yesterday when they tried to storm inside the lobby of the building. This was after uh, breaking into at least two banks um, and then returning later at night and setting fire to the building where people are inside. Andy, what is this about? I mean, they can ostensibly say it's about George Floyd or something like that. But from your experience, what is this really about? This is about hatred for the United States. If you listen to their own words before, they would have said it was to oppose fascism, to oppose Donald Trump. And that's how the media would have covered it. Uh, in fact, the headlines last year poured uh, fuel on the flames by referring to the federal law enforcement officers as Trump's Gestapo and secret police. Well, that excuse can't be used this time, and the actions of the rioters are still the same, which is um, they're doing this because they hate uh, the United States, and they want to attack particularly institutions that represent the rule of law, and they view courthouses uh, as one particular target. Another one are police stations. Hmm. What about all the individuals who were arrested last summer? Are, are they back out on the streets? Are these some of the same people? It's many of the same people. I actually recognize some of them from the videos that have been put out. So we had about a thousand uh, riot arrested, uh, riot arrestees uh, at the local level last year, uh, of which 90 percent, that's nine zero, had the cases dropped immediately. Um, and then of uh, the federal cases of, you know, supposedly uh, more strict charges, still about a third of those charges have been dismissed as well. So this is just a revolving door issue. Um, people, one of the people who was arrested yesterday in the afternoon riot, he was released, uh, charged with a felony and a misdemeanor release, and then returned to the riot at night mm -hmm. and allegedly was involved in criminal conduct and was arrested again. So two times within 24 hours. This is very emblematic of the problems that we are seeing on the ground in places like Portland and Seattle. Yeah, and Andy, I always got the feeling last summer that Democrats didn't really want to push to have these people arrested and put down these protests because they felt they really were on their side politically, if you, if you will. But uh, as you're saying, that's not what this is about. They made it look like that. So what's going on with the local leadership, the local government? Why won't they put the, these protests down? Um, because I think there is a faction of them who has sympathies for actually what they think these riots and protests are meant to demonstrate, which is uh, to, to show opposition to what they view as a corrupt nation whose institutions cannot be reformed, but rather need to be destroyed. Uh, certainly, if you listen to some of the rhetoric of people on city council, I think another example is like that of Mayor Ted Wheeler. He's just been cowed into fear. I mean, after they rioted at his home last year, he literally fled, uh, had to leave his home. So right. um, we just we have bad leadership 